Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vocal Report. This chart is a E-mini S&P 500 futures contract. Please note that we have switched to the June uh, contract now in the S&P 500. And this video is for trading the week of March the 14th, uh, Monday 2016. As you can see on Friday the market managed to settle up uh, at the 2011 and 3 quarters mark. As you can see the bars on the weekly chart are still red indicating that the market is still under uh, selling pressure at this point. It's still in a bear market as you can see here at the bottom it says bear market right here you see a little red bear in the corner here we're still bearish even though the market is rallying so this is a, uh, a little correction corrective rally in a bear market all right we're bearish managed to get back above the moving average here uh, but because it's a flat line it's flatlined it means nothing the average is not turning up it's just flat which means that the market doesn't have a, low, a lot of conviction one way or the other so it's it's quite a mixed bag right now right now I would have to say because the momentum is still negative in the market regardless of how much higher this goes you can't help but to wonder that when it stalls out if it's not just going to give up the ghost and easily take out these loads down here and I mean do so easily so we'll be watching this. It's it's at it's, it's a major resistance point right now. Uh, you're looking at around 2043 is going to be very strong resistance, and really all signs are pointing that it's it's stalling out now. So we're going to have to continue to watch it and see what happens. But uh, 2015 and a half is your weekly resistance. And 2000, we'll say 2000 even, we'll call that the weekly support. Uh, a break below that is a sh would trigger a short. A break above that would trigger a long. So that's what we're looking at for, uh, for this week in the S&P 500. All right. Moving on now to the next chart. Okay, looking to our next chart here, the crude oil. We got up to 38.45 on the close after hitting 39 even on the resistance side. This market is also in a situation where it's ready to crack, um, but not before hitting this 45. It looks like it really wants to run to the 45. We're now turning bullish in our momentum, hence the blue bars. Okay, that means that the bulls have uh, taken control of this market temporarily it's under accumulation back here they tried it and failed miserably every week they tried to kick in they got stalled out and the market continued to fall and then it got full fledged right again and the blood started running in the street this time they're trying to do it again and they're trying to make a nice little run at it all right still bear market here's your bear bear market Still trading below long term period moving averages, which is acting as strong resistance. This green line is strong resistance right now. And it's trying its best to get back up there. But it always finds finds a problem at this uh, this peach line right here. Always finds problems. We did last time. Look how it just acted. It just pushed the, the market down. It acted as a strong ceiling to push the market down. This time, we managed to get to close above it question is will it be able to stay there so our weekly support and resistance for crude oil 39 14 on the top 38 34 on the bottom long above short below all right this here is a chart of gold looking at the gold well here we go blue bar which means we have positive momentum into the market all right nice strong market here nice upswing nice thrush uh, upward thrust um, 
still not decided what it really wants to do just yet calling it a bull market it's the beginning stages of one it's just it's trying to get it uplift upliftment here all right strong support right now is at 1226.17 or 1226.10 I should say which is this purple line right here so that strong support for this move up is acting as a nice floor to help lift the market up all right the market is still very bullish all right weekly support and resistance all right is 1263.60 on the top 1249.20 on the bottom long above short below and this should take us back down here to this purple support line could even dip below it shortly before coming back up again but still not a bull market still got a bomb in the bottom right hand corner of the screen got a bomb there got a gonna have to deal with that bomb that means an explosive move is coming all right just to show you again here we had a bomb starting here ending here gave it up right here big time moved up and then just collapsed into new lows the bomb is ticking we'll see what we do here can we explode higher which is what I believe we're gonna do or is something gonna happen and then people come in and short the dickens out of it we'll have to wait and see okay our last chart is silver nice blue bars here and the candles are trying to get up to the bottom of the Kumo cloud here or I should say the, the top part here underneath the Kumo cloud and now it's trying to make a break out of this Kumo cloud so it can keep running that's where we are right now hitting some resistance she'll be able to push above it flat lines going across the screen here and it's trying to build a case with some momentum but we're still in a bear market big old strong grizzly bear in the bottom right hand corner can't ignore that so where does that leave us weekly resistance and support top side is 1564 bottom side is 1548 very tight range we're long above short beneath and that's what we're that's how we're kicking it in the metal so that's all I have time for right now I will Lord willing follow up with another video um, tomorrow but as we have it, you have your support and resistance levels I'm looking at uh, for this week. And don't forget FOMC is on Wednesday. And one other note here too. I gave you the support and resistance numbers, for instance, on the S&P. But at the stock index futures right now, just to be honest, um, I don't see the shorts playing out. Even if those numbers are hit. The market may move a little bit beyond it, but then I, I see it snapping back. So, if anything, you're looking for longs on the on the stock indexes just for now. I know we're still in the bear market, so it, it's a bear market rally, but it's not over with yet. It looks like it still has some legs, so just keep that in mind. Everything else is open season. So remember, bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. Take what you can, give nothing back.